My name is Nathan Smith. I graduated college last year, 2019, and went right into working uh, CRM archaeology. I also do video production, and sort of when I'm in between jobs, I've kind of picked up the hobby of film photography. I did uh, two semesters of photojournalism in college, and film photography, as opposed to the digital photography that I did in school, has been a great opportunity to still go out and shoot around and make a fun sort of artistic product out of it and uh, be a little creative. I've been going on these long walks to take photos since I picked up this hobby and uh, I always see interesting things and I, and I always uh, want to tell people about them so I thought this time I would uh, film a, I would film it. So won't you photo walk with me? The first step to having a successful photo walk is to dress appropriately. So <laughs> usually uh, first I'll put on pants and uh, I like to wear a belt and um, then you might have not done laundry in a while and not have any clean socks except for the Captain America socks that your mom bought you for Christmas uh, three or four years ago. And it's fine to wear those, um, they'll work just as fine as any normal socks. Uh, it's also good to wear comfortable shoes for walking. Uh, I wear the Sambas, the Adidas Sambas, because um, I like them, and uh, they're pretty comfortable. Getting ready for a photo walk also gives you time to self-reflect on um, your appearance and how you look like an absolute dumbass with this GoPro on your head. <laughs> uh, looks stupid. This looks stupid. I like fucking wheel. That's even worse. When I'm shooting film. I've been shooting on this Canon 2000, uh, Re Canon Rebel 2000, and uh, I think today I have Ektachrome 100. In. Uh, when you head out, don't forget to get your mask uh, out of your car that uh, you forgot in there after work yesterday. Now you can get a sneak peek here of this dog uh, that barks directly outside of my window uh, for several hours every day, uh, usually waking me up around 10 or 9.30, uh, just barking, just really loud barking like directly outside my window. Uh, I actually haven't really seen it before now, and so I was starting to get worried that maybe I'd uh, been making it up in my head. The dog's actually barking now while I'm recording the audio for this. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. Uh, still wondering if I'm making that up. So I think this is the first picture of the, the walk, this uh, sunny sort of evening light on this white house. Uh, I think as I was walking by, it really caught my eye. And, and um, sometimes you gotta sort of take a few steps around. I think you might see me doing it in the video. I try not to take um, myself too seriously when I'm walking, and so uh, you know, if you want to, if you're walking along and you want to check your phone, you know, or you want to listen to a podcast, I think that's a really good way to just sort of pass the time. Uh, a lot of this is also just uh, keep it moving. You know, it's been a pandemic this year, and uh, it's pretty easy to sit on the couch and uh, play video games. I definitely have gotten really into Call of Duty, uh, the new Cold War game. Uh, don't be afraid to try and say something with your film. Uh, I think up here I take a photo of Elkmont Exchange, which is a, a pretty nice restaurant, I think, near my house. And uh, I get this dead end sign kind of cut off, but uh, I put that next to the sign as a way to, I don't know, talk about the pandemic or something. And so if you're feeling uh, like you want to get out of the house a little bit, it's great. Take along your camera. It doesn't have to be film. It can be digital. It can be your phone. If you just want to carry around your phone, take pictures on that. Um, phone pictures turn out really great and sometimes even better uh, in the right lighting than, you know, I could make with a, with a nice camera. Walk up that street.
This photo is kind of the same as one I take later on. Uh, it has a lot to do with these letters uh, in this storefront and uh, sort of the shadow that they cast behind them. You never really know what is going to catch your eye. Um, sometimes it's a beautiful scene of you know, light hitting the side of a cathedral. And uh, sometimes it's a sort of flat styrofoam cup that maybe has been run over in the driveway of an asbestos workshop. Um, really, whatever works for you, I think, uh, makes a great photo. I, I think you can take a picture of almost anything. Um, and if it's sort of communicating something, or if it looks good, or if you like the way it looks, I think that's a great photo. Uh, the truck was pretty cool. Uh, it was all taken apart and all open and stuff, and I was gonna try and hop the fence. I don't think that's in the video, but uh, there was some movement in this garage. Um, yeah, you can see me looking into there to see if that guy's still in there. Um, before I, I think before I set the GoPro on. Um, and so that kind of deterred me. Uh, also, the 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 barbed wire the barbed wire didn't go all the way around but the actual fence part was was really really sharp so that kind of also made me have some th second thoughts So you might have guessed by now, um, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of wandering around. Uh, I usually don't have a set destination in mind. I kind of just go in a direction or in a general area. So here I'm just sort of wandering through Old North Knox. Um, and I go down Central a little ways um, until I kind of decide to turn around. I like these shoes uh, hanging off this power line. Um, I really wanted to get them in focus with a nice sky behind them. Um, and maybe the corner of that building, I can't quite remember how I lined it up. But you know, I really like the way those look and the way they were gently sort of swaying. I tried to catch them at a good angle. There can be a lot of dangers in a photo walk. Um, you always have to watch out, uh, especially for getting a rock in your shoe. That can really derail the whole mission. Rocco. It's important to keep your head on a swivel when you're on a photo walk because um, it can be easy to get really into a photo and walk out in the street and uh, get hit by a Toyota Corolla. Uh, trying to be discouraged uh, if people look at you like uh, you're some kind of uh, freak for wearing a GoPro on your head and looking like an absolute doofus. All right, how are you? I talked earlier about how I am always drawn to sort of lighting conditions and uh, this shop window was really um, appealing to me the way the shadows of the letters uh, were cast sort of on the junk or on the, um, on the stuff behind it.
uh, don't be afraid to um, you know shoot whatever you want I, I realize I'm, I'm a little precious with my film with the, with the photos that I take and so uh, I think there are several times in this video where I raise the camera up and and sort of set up a frame and then uh, choose not to shoot it um, for whatever reason you know, sometimes uh, sometimes I get drawn by the colors of leaves and then I realize that all the leaves make the frame really busy. That's good. Even though I did photojournalism for a few years, um, I still get kind of nervous uh, shooting around people, so, uh, and around people I don't know. And so, generally, uh, I'll avoid that unless there's a real, really good scene I want to capture. Just any old thing will catch my eye. Usually it has to do with light. Um, I'm pretty much a sucker for uh, good lighting. So any sort of scene, any sort of area where the light is looking good or bouncing off something very well, uh, that'll, be, that'll be quick on my list for me to start shooting towards. And, you know, you don't really have to say anything with a photo. Um, I've talked a few times about trying to make a statement or trying to tell a story. Um, that's not required. Uh, I suppose if you want to just take a picture, uh, you can. Uh, I'm not going to stop you. I can't uh, reach through the screen and take your camera out of your hand if you just want to take a picture of a flower because it's pretty. Um, I do that all the time. I mean, I was just saying earlier, uh, something that film has sort of helped me feel free to do is to just take a picture for a picture's sake. I think taking pictures of sort of junk or trash, that I guess things that people leave behind, is a really fun thing to do because uh, that stuff's sort of ephemeral, I guess. And, uh, you know, it'll probably be gone in the next few days. Uh, like the styrofoam cup half earlier and heels on the side of the road um, outside of this bar. Uh, th that'll probably get picked up or swept away or, you know, taken. And taking a photo of that can, I don't know, capture a kind of interesting moment or um, document it for... <laughs> whatever reason. Uh, like I said a few times, lighting is really always catches my eye and I feel like uh, things that are naturally sort of highlighted, um, you can catch looking really, really good, especially around the time of day that I'm walking in now. The same goes for uh, interesting scenes um, and, and framing sort of the left behind items in an area that tells a story, I suppose. So uh, this PBR in the bus stop, I thought was interesting just having a few uh, beers <laughs> waiting on uh, the cat. That's a... Uh, 
Knox area transit, I think, um, for uh, any of you that don't know. Uh, this is a school that I'm walking past, and uh, sometimes there's interesting lighting and interesting uh, images here. And uh, even though I know I'm not trying to take creepy pictures of a high school, uh, I generally put the photo cap on and or the lens cap on, and uh, keep and walk on by. Um, those images will be there another time, um, and I'll I can come back when school's not in session and shoot those. So I think here I'm walking past Central Filling Station, which I'm sure had some really nice opportunities in it, and I kind of, uh, I kind of just maneuver past that. I usually try and take a different way home and make sort of a big loop out of it uh, to find uh, some different photos. Um, so here I end up walking a, a more roundabout way to get home than the, uh, the direct path that I could take. Um, just to keep things fresh and to uh, keep an eye out for something interesting. Also, uh, if you feel comfortable enough, this is a pretty good uh, activity to do with a friend, um, or, or two. Because you're walking around outside, you can be pretty distant. Um, and I, I'm wearing my mask for the whole time uh, this video is on, so it'd be easy to walk around with masks on. Um, you know, a, a long photo walk with friends is a nice way to catch up and, and, uh, and talk. Um, and uh, help remind you that uh, you're not uh, alone. It can be easy to get wrapped up um, when you post these photos on social media or something, um, thinking that you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to go out and find photos to take, you have to go out and find uh, content to post. Um, but uh, within the last few months, I've taken stock of feeling like that and really tried to uh, dial it back because this is a hobby and you're doing it for fun, hopefully. And um, that's what you get out of it. Uh, the fun pictures to post and the, and the likes, those are nice, but uh, really this is just your hobby to relax and uh, to get out of the house. And so you shouldn't be stressing too hard if you're not going out, you know, every day, every other day for four or five hours to shoot. Um, that's not healthy. Uh, it's probably better to relax and just go out when you feel like it. And the photos will probably turn out better too. Well, if you've made it through the whole thing, uh, thank you very much for coming on the photo walk with me. Uh, as I'm sure you might have noticed, um, this is heavily inspired by uh, How To With John Wilson uh, on HBO. And it's also inspired by a YouTube channel called GeoWizard. And that was sort of what inspired me to break out my GoPro, which I've only ever used to film ramen noodles, I think, on this channel. Um, and uh, take it with me on my photo walks. And uh, I was inspired by John Wilson to tell it like I see it. And so um, that's what I tried to capture here today. Oh. My dirt. Uh, if you're interested in how those photos turned out, um, you can follow me on Instagram at the actual Nathan. It's where I post all of my 
film and sometimes pictures of my own face. So give me a follow on there, and uh, I think probably within the next few weeks, I'll post um, the film I shot.